Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. So today we are going to solve a problem which is named as alternate positive and negative numbers, right? So let's quickly have a look on the problem statement. So our problem says that given an unsorted array ARR containing both positive and negative numbers, right? So it is given that we will be given uh, both positive and negative numbers, right? After this, your task is to create an array of alternate positive and negative numbers without changing the relative order of positive and negative numbers, right? So basically what they are trying to say is that we have to make our given array as alternate. So positive number should come first after that one negative number should come then after one positive number should come and after that one negative number should come. So that's how we have to do in this. Uh, so this is given in the problem statement, right? Also, we have to take care of one thing that is we don't have to change the relative order of the given numbers, right? So let's quickly have a look on the example number one. So, so we are given array as 9, 4, minus 2, minus 1, 5, 0, minus 5 minus 3 and 2 right so we are given this array and uh, we have what we have to do we have to change this array and make our numbers in alternate positions right so what can be the first number so it the problem says that array should start with a positive number and 0 is also considered as a positive element right so what from which element do we have to start so we have to start from a positive element right so let us start from the 0th element and 9 is the first uh, smallest and 9 is the positive number. So we will put 9 at the first. So 9 will be put at the first. Now we will try to find out what is the second element. Now we will try to find out the negative element, right? So what is the negative element? So 2 is the first negative element, right? So we will put minus 2 here. Okay. Now add 4. Now after this minus 2 what should become now after this minus 2 number which number should come so a positive number should come right so 4 will come up here as we are maintaining the relative order we are not changing the order of the elements right now I have put one positive number so I have to put one negative number after this so what is the negative number so minus 1 is the negative number so we should put minus 1 here now we will again put a positive number because we have to do alternate positive and uh, negative numbers right so 5 will we will put 5 here so 5 will is put it here now again we have to find the negative number so minus 5 minus 5 is the negative number so we will put minus 5 here after this negative number i will put one positive number so 0 is the positive number so i will put 0 here now which number should come up here so a negative number should come so minus 3 is my negative number so I will put minus 3 here and after this I will put a positive number which is 2 right okay so I will put 2 here so for this given array I have to change this array and uh, I have to make all the numbers in alternate positions right first it should start from positive number and after that negative number and after that again positive number and after that again negative number so this thing will continue until we uh, we have not used all the array elements right okay so as we can see that in the example number two so the number of negative numbers as we can see in the example number two, the count of the negative numbers is smaller than the count of the uh, positive numbers. So what we are trying to do, we are maintaining the relative order and we are just putting uh, alternate positive and negative integers until I have not finished all the uh, negative integers. And after that I am pushing, I am putting and after that I am putting all my positive numbers because and after that I am putting all my positive numbers because there is no negative number how can we uh, solve this problem right so the problem is pretty simple so what we can do is we can just keep the track of some positive numbers into one array and also keep the track of negative numbers into my one array right so 
let us say that uh, I am taking one array and its name is POS. It will store all the positive numbers and second one is neg. So it will store all the negative numbers, right? So what we will do? So we will iterate on my array and uh, if the element present at the particular index is positive, then I will push that element into my POS array. And if the particular number is negative, then I will push that uh, element into my negative array, right? So uh, let us take the same example, which was given in the first. Okay, so we will try to iterate on my given array and decide then if a number is positive, then it should be put in my POS array. And if the number is negative, then I should put that element into my NEG array, right? So start iterating from the first element. So as we can see that nine is a positive number. So we will push that number into my POS array, right? So nine is pushed into my POS array. Now again, four is also positive. So I will push that four into my POS array again. Now here comes negative two. So as we can see that number is negative. So I should put that into my NEG array. So I have pushed that element into my NEG array, right? Again, a negative number comes up. So it will be pushed into my NEG array, right? Now, as we can see that five is positive number, so it will uh, go into my POS array. Again, zero is positive number, so go into my POS array, right? Again, uh, now minus five comes up, so it is negative, so it will come into my negative array. And uh, again, minus three comes up, so it is also negative, so it will come into negative array. Again, two comes up and it is a positive number, so I will push that into my POS array, right? Okay, so now by doing this step, we have separated all of our positive number into one place and all of our negative number into one place. Now, so how can we uh, solve, how can we proceed further? So what we can do, try to do is, as it is given that we should put a positive number at the first. So what we can do is, I can try putting elements into some another array from the, I can try putting the elements in alternate uh, positions right so what i try to do is i will try to first put the positive element into my array and i will take out the negative element into my array then i will again uh, for example okay so what can i do is i can take out the positive element from my pos array and i can take out one negative element from my negative array and i can just push it like this so i will first put the positive number and I will uh, the push the negative number, right? So nine is finished and two is finished. Now what is the second positive number? So four is the second positive number. So I will try to put four. I have to put one negative number. So what is the second negative number? So minus one is the second negative number. So I will put minus one here. Again, what is this third positive number? So five is the third positive number. I will put five here now. I have to put negative number. So what is the negative number? So minus five is the negative number, right? So I will put minus five here. Again, what is the positive number? So zero is the next positive number. So I will put zero here. Now, what is the next negative number? So minus three is the next negative number. So I will put minus three here. And uh, what is the next positive number? So two is this next positive number. So I will put two here, right? Okay, so that's how I can get my alternate positive and negative numbers in the array. So, okay, so how we are going to proceed with the solution? So I will put one pointer, let us consider it as I, and I will put one pointer J, which will be pointing to my negative array, right? Okay, so this was the case one, right? What can be the case two? So case two can be like, there are less number of negative numbers and there are more number of positive numbers, right? So how can we proceed with that? So we will first put alternative positive numbers like positive, negative, then positive, negative, positive, negative, and positive, negative, right? After this, I will, I will put, after this, I will put the remaining elements. Like for example, if I have left with multiple uh, positive elements, so I will just put them like this. So this can be one case and there can be some another case like if I have positive, negative, then positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, right? And after that, I have, I can put my negative numbers also like this. Okay, so now I have to put my remaining elements. So 
ठीक है द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट विल बी माइनस निगेटिव नंबर राइट सो आई विल पुट निगेटिव नंबर सो दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड विद दॉल्यूशन नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू कोड दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द साइज ऑफ माई गिवेन एरे सो इंटीजर आई इंटीजर एन इक्वल्स टू एरे डॉट साइज ओके नाउ we have to make two arrays let us name it as positive and second is energy right and we will iterate on my array and uh, if the element is lesser than 0 then it means it is negative so i will push that element into my negative array so uh, negative dot push back ali and uh, if it is in positive direction then i will push that element into my positive array right now now what we have to do is uh, we have to take two pointers one will be pointing to my pos array and one will be pointing to my negative array right so i will be pointing to positive array and j will be pointing to negative array right and we also take k index to put uh, we will also take k index for my given array right so i will try to run my for while loop Okay, so now we will run my while loop. So while loop will run till both of the elements. So after this, I will run my while loop. So while loop will be like i should be less than positive sort size, i should be less than positive dot size, and j should be less than negative dot size, right? Okay. So first we have to put my positive number. So array of k equals to positive of i right and just increase the pointer so k index will be increased and also increase the j pointer right now i have to put my negative negative element so array of k equals to negative of j and do k plus plus one do k plus plus and also j plus plus right okay so after this while loop is finished there might be the uh, okay so after this while loop is finished there can be the case like i have some remaining bunch of positive elements or it can be the case that i have some remaining negative elements right so i have to just push them as the given elements right so so i have to push them similarly right so i will try to run my while loop and while i is less than positive dot size and uh, array of k equals to positive of i right and increase my pointer k and also increase my i okay so this while loop will push all the remaining positive elements and what about the negative elements so we will again run a while loop so while j is less than negative dot size array of k equals to negative of j and increase my pointers k k plus plus and j plus plus right okay so Uh, let us try to uh, compile this problem okay so let us try to compile this code okay so it's passing on the uh, sample test cases no let us try to submit okay so yeah problem solved successfully now let us quickly have a look on the time complexity so as we can see that uh, we are uh, running a for loop on my array so what is the array size so array size is n right so this for loop will be running for n times and inside this for loop i am doing some constant operations right so this for loop will have the time complexity of big o of n right also the while loop at 24 so as we know that uh, some of positive elements and some of negative elements will be equals to the size of my given element given array right so the whole these three while loops at max will run big o of n right so that's why our time complexity would be okay so that's why our time complexity would be so time complexity would be big o of n and talking about the space complexity right as we can see that we are using extra space to store positive and negative values so uh, the space would be big o of n also so i hope you got the problem solution thank you